Republicans want a border security briefing on the Yemeni terror suspects stopped at the border as the White House downplays their arrests. Congressman Tom McClintock toured the border yesterday and joins me live with what he saw. Congressman, thank you for being here. Um, I'm curious, what really stuck out to you from your visit? Well, the, the, the fact that we're, we're way beyond any discussion over whether this is a border crisis. The question now is whether we have a border at all, and the answer is we don't. Uh, we, we watched hundreds and hundreds of illegal aliens uh, uh, simply illegally crossing the border, coming up to the border patrol. Of uh, uh, those who are claiming to be under 18 are automatically admitted. They're uh, taken to CBP facilities, then to HHS, and HHS then gives them a, a ticket anywhere they want to go in the country. Uh, we're seeing uh, with uh, families with uh, uh, children under seven, basically the same thing. Uh, they take their basic biometric information and wave them on. Uh, and the numbers that we are seeing are absolutely staggering. Uh, uh, the, the, the week of the election last year, there were only 100 family units that illegally crossed the border. By Inauguration Day, that number had increased to 1,100. Uh, last week, it was 15,000. Mm. That'll give you some idea of the order of magnitude. Uh, the Border uh, Patrol had uh, 100,000 encounters with illegal aliens in February. It was 170,000 in March. Uh, 170,000 is the population of Salem, Oregon. That's in a single month. And those numbers don't include the, the, the estimated 130,000 gotaways, uh, the folks that uh, evaded the Border Patrol, of, uh, the, the, who are smuggling drugs, doing human trafficking. Uh, and the Border Patrol tells me that is a very low number, 130,000. And yesterday during your live press conference, you said that number, 130,000, equals the entire population of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. When you, when you put it like that, it really puts it into perspective to see the number that we are talking about. It's incredible. Um, it's, meantime, this is a mass migration. This is a mass migration of historic proportions, and yeah. I don't know of any civilization in history uh, that has survived that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, meantime, Customs and Border Protection has deleted this press release detailing the arrest of these two Yemeni illegal immigrants who were identified as being on the terror watch list. Um, let's go ahead and pull up here this quote. This is from CBP, and this says, the news release was not properly reviewed and contained certain disclosure and policy information related to national security that required CBP to remove it from our website. What is your opinion on this situation? Because I think most people sitting here watching would say, I deserve to know about these arrests. Of course, the, the Biden administration has been uh, constantly suppressing any information coming out of the crisis that they created by abandoning President Trump's policies. We had control of the border uh, in January. We've completely lost it now. Uh, and very bad things start to happen. All right. And then meantime, let's go ahead real quick while we have you here and talk about your state of California and what's going on there, because they continue to ignore the success of some of the Republican states who obviously everybody's been dealing with COVID in the last year. But California wants to keep in place some of these restrictions until June 15th. If you compare that to Texas hitting a record low numbers after lifting some restrictions, we'll go ahead and pull that up on your screen there. I, I mean, I think a lot of people are having a hard time why California has been so locked down. Well, study after study, Stanford University, Oxford University, uh, University of Denmark are all telling us the same thing. The lockdowns did not work. There was no statistical difference between the jurisdictions that locked down and those that stayed open. Uh, but not only have they failed to save lives, they have cost lives through increased suicides, uh, drug and alcohol related deaths, uh, deferred health treatments, deferred health screenings. Uh, uh, all of these things add up to uh, a, a significant mortality rate caused by the lockdowns, uh, and yet the more people like Newsom invest in their mistakes, the less willing they are to admit them. Uh, uh, this has got to stop. It is completely insane, and it's, it's not helping. It's hurting. Okay. Congressman Tom McClintock, thank you very much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Sure.